Hey guys, Cat Sky here, fellow cosplayer of the Batgirl realm and lover of the DC, fellow cosplayer of the Black Widow realm and the Marvel. So, um, a couple questions come up to me about the Batgirl character, Barbara Gordon, in general. How she just doesn't get enough screen time, get enough words, you don't see her often in comics, even though she does have her own comic line. A, uh, um, a fan came to me and asked me, how come in the new animated series coming out, we don't really see Barbara? Well, I can't really answer that question because unfortunately I don't know too much of the new series. I'm actually rereading the old comic series of Batgirl, The New 52 by Gail Simmons. And also you gotta love The Birds of Prey by her and by Chuck. So that's something to look into if you think there's not enough Barbara Gordon out there. Look into Chuck Dixon's Birds of Prey and look for Gail Simmons' Batgirl before Rebirth. Always good, gotta love it. So when it comes to uh, the question of how come Batgirl's not in the DC realm, um, does it stop right when the Joker shoots her? No, it doesn't because we have Oracle. Oracle is someone who helps other female superheroes like Huntress. Even Poison Ivy was in at one point in part of the Birds of Prey. Black Canary comes in. So th these are the things defining who Oracle is at this point, which we know as Barbara Gordon. The Killing Joke didn't necessarily end Barbara Gordon's career. More or less, The Killing Joke helped create another part of who she was. Now, if the Joker didn't shoot her, we would not have seen or ever got to know of the Oracle that we know today, which is Barbara, one of Barbara Gordon's alter egos. We do know that a couple years after she was shot, she gets a surgery done. Some say it was uh, from a fancy doctor who had what was it called, um, stem cell research done on her to make her walk. Others say it's nanites, super advanced technology, like in the Arrow, helped Barbara walk. So if you've watched the Arrow series, you notice that Felicity, who is basically Barbara Gordon without Batgirl in this series, goes through the same things. She gets in a car accident or she gets shot, which enables her to walk. She is stuck in a wheelchair, like in the Birds of Prey series that came out in the early 2000s. Just like how she was in that one, Felicity is in this one. So it's not that they don't give her enough screen time. It is you have to understand when these things were written. They were written in a time where women still weren't looked on as equals. Yes, we could vote. Yes, we could start, you know, wearing pants, going to work, and not just having babies and being stuck in the kitchen. Having a female superhero counterpart is a little bit different and quite intimidating for a lot of men. One, it, this particular woman is a lot more strong and more built than the average male, the male hero, male in general. So it's very intimidating for, for a lot of people in that time to come across that. Batgirl was originally created with Batwoman being a mother-daughter relationship and a love interest to Batman and Robin. Now that was created for the TV show's sake, which Yvonne Craig played Batgirl, later on was adapted into the comic series. Um, so you'll notice that even today, it's changing, but there's not a lot of screen time because they weren't given enough storyline. They weren't given enough writing time to be created in this world until now. We have more of the feminist movement, equal rights. We're going to see more and more. Like, we have the Wonder Woman out. The Wonder Woman movie is a really good movement for female empowerment. And we're going to get more like the Batgirl movie. We don't know who's going to play Batgirl, but it's going to be badass. And that's another way to move forward with this movement. So you have to understand what is now the era today, being more female empowered, to the era of back in the 50s, where it was still not right for women to just generally be out and about stronger than men, more powerful than men. It was really intimidating. They wanted women to stay at home, stay in the kitchen, and, you know, have babies. It's just not how it is anymore. I hope that kind of ties up a couple questions for a lot of you people out there. So any more questions or if you uh, find something intriguing, come along my way. I'm really happy to chat about it. <laughs> See you later, guys.